Is it faster to drown a witch or is it better to burn them with lava? What is the best method for killing them? Witches are quite hard to kill in Minecraft, but sometimes killing witches is necessary and it can even be really profitable. So we really need answers to these important questions and there is only one way to find out. Science! Therefore, I have conducted some totally scientific Minecraft experiments in which a number of witches may or may not have died in interesting and creative ways. And all these experiments led to a very interesting idea, which I will share with you at the end of this video. I have set up my laboratory in this converted witch hut. I'm wearing my science coat and I have set up some witch test tubes. I will now conduct 13 highly complex experiments for your education and entertainment. But before we start, here is a little disclaimer. While witches in Minecraft are evil and must be killed on sight, the producer of this video does not condone or encourage the persecution of witches in real life. We respect real witches and appreciate their mysterious ways. No real witches were harmed in the making of this video. Also, please don't try any of these tests at home. Thank you. So, straight to experiment number one. The old favorite of every witch finder, dunking. Dunking is fairly straightforward. Throw the witch in some water, weigh her down with a heavy stone and wait. <laughs> Legend has it that you can't drown witches. So if your subject does drown, they were not witches, just tragically misunderstood muggles. As you can see, this poor villager was clearly not a witch. This one on the other hand is looking surprisingly healthy. Obviously this is a genuine witch and they are cheating death by drinking their own water breathing potion. Another needlessly cruel test was making witches walk on hot coals. Apparently genuine witches had highly insulated feet, while the innocent would burn their toes. As you can see in Minecraft this is completely true. While our control subject is suffering terribly, this witch here is looking perfectly toasty on magma blocks. And there it goes, drinking another bottle of homebrewed fire resistance potion. Amazing! Once a witch hunter determined that somebody was indeed a scary witch, it was imperative to neutralize this peril, usually in the form of a cruel and painful death. Witch burning was a hot favorite. Which of course makes little to no sense because as the previous tests established, witches are fire resistant, duh. So let's give this witch a good roasting in the literal sense and yeah. This looks like a very happy witch on a campfire. Toasty, so to speak. And witch number four? Yeah, is perfectly comfortable on this soul fire too. Maybe we need some heavier stuff. And nothing burns better than lava. Nope, still nothing. Witch number five is also happy. I wonder, can we set fire to a witch directly? I have some flint and steel here. Let's try and... Nope. Witches are not flammable. Witches simply don't burn. Or maybe they just take a very long time to die. Who knows? Let's leave these pointy-hatted people here for a bit longer and we will check up on them at the end of the video to see if they're still alive. So what actually kills witches? If witches are immune to hot stuff, it goes to reason that the opposite will kill them, right? Let's try freezing a witch. Here's some powdered snow. Okay, the witch is taking some damage and drinking a healing potion. Hmm. Okay, perhaps this is not the way. Of course, you can always do it old school and attack them directly, but they have healing potions and swiftness potion and all sorts of other stuff, so this may take a while. And if you're in survival, they also throw all sorts of nasty stuff in your face, which is why I never go near a witch without a healing potion and a bucket of milk. Ouch! That was not nice! So what about suffocation? Can you suffocate a witch? And how long does it take? Let's see. Yeah, okay, that worked. And what about plants? Can plants kill witches? Here is a cactus. Let's see if the witch's highly insulated feet are also immune to prickles. 
And no, they're not. This witch is definitely not happy. And yep, they died. Well, that looked like a slow and painful death. Surely a swift death would be kinder. Here is a very nasty plant, which may just do the job. The weather rose and... Forty-eight seconds? That was slower than a cactus. I can't believe it. But I'm still not happy. Maybe we need help. I need this strong guy here. I think he could be our winning ticket. Oh my god, this is hilarious. Yep. Look at those witches fly. Oh my god, this is great. Well done, sir. Well done. And the nicest thing is, witches don't attack iron golems. Yes, it's true. They don't. So this guy can keep going all day long. And here is something that will kill a witch instantly. Cold hard iron. Or was that for vampires? I can't remember. And Geronimo! A doink! Ding dong, the witch is dead. Amazing. Maybe I'm a bit weird, but I found all those witch tests really satisfying. But how does that help you in your everyday Minecraft world? Well, for starters, after watching this video, you probably won't try to defend yourself from a witch in this way. And that is great because it won't work. So what about this brilliant idea that I talked about earlier? Well, before I tell you about it, let's check on these original witches. Are they still alive? Yep, still heated waterproof. They even seem to enjoy this. And when my friend saw how much fun these witches are having, he suggested that I should build a witch spa. So in my next video, I will build a wellness resort for witches because it's Halloween. Hooray! Check out this video here and don't spill any lava. Bye bye!